They rely upon us, Jezreel. We're all that they have. They have the Radiance. That will be enough. He will not remain bound by this. The enemy. He will find a way around it. You know he will. Perhaps. The King of Heralds offered no further explanation. And Tal? The flesh burning. The fires. The pain. Over and over and over. Better that one man should suffer than ten. Jezrian seemed so cold. Like a shadow caused by heat and light falling on someone honorable and true, casting this black imitation behind. Jezrian walked back to the Ring of Swords, his own blade formed in his hands, appearing from mist, wet with condensation. It has been decided, Kalak. We will go our ways and we will not seek out one another. Our blades must be left. The Oath Pact ends now. He lifted his sword and rammed it into the stone with the other seven. <clears throat> Jezrian hesitated, looking at the sword, then bowed his head and turned away, as if ashamed. We chose this burden willingly. We can choose to drop it if we wish. What do we tell the people, Jezrian? What will they say of this day? It's simple. We tell them that they finally won. It's an easy enough lie. Who knows? Maybe it will turn out to be true. Kalak watched Jezrian depart across the burned landscape. Finally, he summoned his own blade and slammed it into the stone beside the other eight. He turned and walked in the direction opposite from Jezrian. And yet, he could not help glancing back at the Ring of Swords and the single open spot. The place where the tenth sword should have gone. One of them who was lost. The one they had abandoned. Forgive us. <laughs>